Staffer season is almost over, but the bite is still going strong. Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith shows us some techniques for catching the bigger ones this week on Outdoors. This week, it's time to show you part two of our trip with Jay Kretzer and Team Tackle This, Shoot That. We caught a lot of smaller legal red snapper early on in the trip, but as the day progressed, the seas became very calm. It was the perfect opportunity to catch bigger fish near the surface. Uh, you can see them eat it. They're up in the column real good. What we're doing is we're throwing out little pieces of frozen pogies and different things out here. It's called chum, and uh, we're creating a chum slick. Locally called a pogey, menhaden are an oily fish that make for great bait for most species around the close-in wrecks and reefs. As a Father's Day treat, my dad joined me on this trip. It didn't take long for a fish to bite his line. Yeah, we'll switch, switch positions. He's got it. Keep him off the bottom. He's going to the wreck. Keep him out of the wreck. And these are not these you know, school-sized snapper that we were messing with earlier. These are the bigger sow snapper that are hanging out. Great job. Beautiful fish. That's a beautiful fish right there. Hooking them up near the surface means the fish is less likely to fight you all the way down to the bottom and break the line. I'm just pitching it out there. I've got a little heavier hook and that's helping my pogey get a little faster sink ratio. He just took it. I'm watching him eat it now. And here's my line and free spool. He's peeling the line off right now. Sight fishing for snapper in the Gulf of Mexico. This is what we're doing today. He's way up in the column. So we're gonna turn him and make him come on home. Here we go. See that? There are plenty of fish out here. You just have to come out and get you some. These fish are quality fish. A lot of numbers out here. Doesn't take you long to get your limit. For Fox 10 Outdoors, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith.